Good morning. Let's read uh, 2 Timothy 4, 1 and 2 this morning. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing in his kingdom, preach the word. That's the beginning of verse 2. It's an imperative. It's what I'm called to do. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. So preach the word is like the parent imperative verb here and the language of be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort. Those four verbal ideas all are uh, buttressing or coming under, strengthening, explaining, uh, giving life and flesh to the idea of preach the word. So the exhortation is to, is to preach the word, not, not to preach my opinions, not to preach another's opinions, uh, not to preach on a soapbox, but to stick to the text, to bring application from the text, to bring explanation from the text. The word is the basis for proclamation. So if you're at Lifeline, we want to measure our teaching by the word of God. If you're in a different church or you move away and go to a different church, um, for the sake of you and your family, choose a church that they stick to the word. They genuinely talk about it, explain it, um, are rooted in the text of scripture. If there's not a rooting in the text of scripture, then you're being rooted in whatever the best opinions of that individual are. You need to be rooted in the text. Now, in doing so, the idea here with these four uh, sort of subverbs, if you will, is be ready in season and out of season. Uh, the, the be ready is actually used uh, and can be used of a, like a soldier getting prepared. The idea is do your duty. Like it's not based on how you feel. It's not based on uh, whether or not it's the opportune time. It's not based on whether or not you go, man, I, I don't want to say that now or uh, it's a kind of fear or apprehension or sloth. You need to speak the word and you got to be ready, whatever the season is. Reprove and rebuke, right? Both these kind of have this idea of correction one way or another. And you're bringing a rebuke and you're bringing a reproof. And then you're encouraging and exhorting people with patience and teaching. I think it's interesting the way it concludes. The role of the pastor is to bring the word to bear to bring the word to bear, to reprove, rebuke, and exhort, and to do it in season and out of season, whenever and, and wherever, and uh, not based upon the whims or feelings of the moment. And then to do that, though, peppered by obviously sticking to good teaching, explaining it, expounding it, making it clear, but to do it with patience, recognizing that change takes a long time. And so you want to be patient and, and realizing that development of ideas and, and getting them cemented in the lives of people takes a long time. So this is a good word uh, for a guy like me, for a pastor, but it's in our text and we want to be people of the text. So I'm sharing it with you, but this is how you want to evaluate and you want to think about the, the, the role of a preacher. This is what a role of a preacher is to do, to stick with the text. Hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you do rejoice in the word of God today. May the Lord bless you.